There's so much to love about Christmas. Santa Claus, reindeer, Christmas trees, Mariah Carey. But sometimes we forget that the nativity, the Christmas story, really happened. So we've decided to go on location here in Israel to find out what really went down. Today, we are on location in the Judean desert. But first, here's our account being read from the book of Luke. During those days, the Roman Empire, Caesar Augustus, ordered that the first census be taken throughout his empire. Everyone had to travel to the hometown of their family to complete the mandatory census. So Joseph and his wife Mary left Nazareth, a village in Galilee, and journeyed to their hometown in Judea, to the village of Bethlehem. King David's ancient home. They were required to register there since they were both direct descendants of David. Mary was pregnant and nearly ready to give birth. Okay, hang on a second. I know that sounds pretty simple. Travel back to your ancient home, complete a census, have a baby, and you're done. But let's not forget, they had to travel through 80 miles of this. Even if they went 10 miles every single day, that's still eight whole days, and Mary was heavily pregnant. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chip, I've seen the pictures from the nativity. My kids did the play. Mary got to ride on a donkey. Well, hate to be the one to break it to you, but the Bible doesn't actually talk about a donkey. Instead, what we know is that there was a lot of uphill and downhill through a scrubby desert. Most of the time, it was freezing cold at night. And don't forget, this was the wet season and they're carrying supplies. Man, it's pretty harsh, right? You know what else? Historical records have been found that show that there were warnings of wild boars, bears, and lions. Not only that, they constantly had the threat of robbers and bandits attacking them on the road. And finally, arriving at Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph must have been ready to drop. But, spoiler alert, they're gonna find that there's no room for them. They can't settle just yet. Anyway, that's enough for me. Let's scrub back and hear the rest of the passage. They were required to register there since they were both direct descendants of David. Mary was pregnant and nearly ready to give birth. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary went into labor and there she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped the newborn baby in strips of cloth, and Mary and Joseph laid him in a feeding trough, since there was no available space in any upper room in the village. 